Welcome back to Gothic Walkthrough series. Dealing with Mordrak Part 3. Enjoy. That's really not my Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We too need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own mine, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He is the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Show me your goods. Choose something. If you're looking for trouble, just come here. So the way you can deal with more drugs, there are basically two options. If you go to with him to the new camp, you will have completed your task with Thoris, and that will be it. And thus you'll start your path on joining the new camp, which is an option, of course. Uh, the other option is to fight him. Well, it won't be an easy task to beat him, but it is possible. Though be advised if you well, do Smith, decide to take this business? path, it will take Why would you, you want to know? Mm, I, I don't know, something maybe like 10 oh, hits to really? kill him. And no, what? not kill him, beat him. Think about it. Come back and really uh, need afterwards, and um, you'll piss off some people in the new camp as well by beating him. It won't be a one-sided, everybody's happy that you beat him and he's gone. No, it won't be just like that. Just like in the real world, there are always people on the both sides of the fence. So yeah, and be advised, he will one-shot you on the way, um, by the way, or at least two-shot you, but I believe he will one-shot you. He'll fall to the ground, he won't kill you, but he will take your money and, uh, you, yeah, your money, just your money. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. 
very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam, quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Cologne. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Cologne is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. So right now I'm going to push for more Sounds money. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. In this case, you must be persistent. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ore as an advance payment. Forget it! Keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. No ore, no recipe. Well then, we can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. No, I want to see ore right now or you can get your recipe yourself. There's enough for the newcomers. I think I should give the job to one of them. There was a time when things would have gotten very different. Hang on. Okay, let's just forget about the whole thing. Not so fast. I just wanted to know how far you'd go. 50 ore is quite a lot for a newcomer, don't you think? That sounds better. Okay, okay. I've just got 50 ore nuggets spare here. Don't let me down, kid. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 ore. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. So yeah, so it's an easy way how to get a free 50 ore at the beginning of the game. By the way, it's totally viable to enter the castle by paying the thousand ore. It just uh, is not possible to collect the said hey ore in I'm Fisk. solely I take in the new of all uh, kinds. old camp. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Oh, really? Quite a lot for... Quite a little, really. <laughs> I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. If you mention Whistler to him, he will simply raise the price. By raising the price, I mean he will put it as high as you can't buy it ever. So basically, never mention Whistler or I believe you will fail the quest in that way. Now I can give Whistler his sword, which has some good strength to damage ratio, but it's very short. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. 
also, as you noticed, I also got the 10 ore back, which I overpaid for the sword. Initially he gave me 100 ore just to pay for the sword, but the price has went up, so to speak. And I believe I will be heading to the new camp now. Need to check some statistics and uh, let's go. To your blathering any longer, let's go to the new camp. Okay, follow me. By the way, if you wanna beat him, potentially kill him. It's easier to do it right here outside of the walls when he's not even suspecting you to start fighting. Especially if you get a um, help from some random wolf. <laughs> Picking up those herbs, they never. It's never too little to have a good stock pile of stuff ready to heal yourself up. Though it's not really such an issue in this game, in if you, especially if you collect the meat and you fry it, that is going to give you all the healing um, you need. And see, you can get two pieces of meat from scavenger when you fry it it heals for 20 I believe so you get something like 40 health back from each scavenger you kill and you mostly will kill them without taking any damage whatsoever Without more drugs this area can be a bit of a pain, uh, not because of the scavengers. The scavengers as we have already established in chapter one, uh, in episode 1 we can deal quite easily. Even with a group of scavengers you just have to be patient enough to deal with them. Well at least for as long as you don't have a better sword skill or higher damage. This goblin can hurt. If you go here alone, it is highly advisable that you that use that merchant. He sells bows and arrows. Further down that uh, path that leads downwards, is, there are some high-level dinosaur-like creatures or whatever. In short, do not go there unless you're higher level. Even if you lead them back to this hunter, he will just piss himself silly from seeing such a creature and run. <laughs> I noticed this in one of my first playthrough, I believe. I was speaking with a guy and that uh, snapper was approaching me and he was like patiently waiting for me to finish my conversation. And I, I was thinking, yeah, well, that uh, hunter will definitely save me, because, I mean, shadows are OP. <laughs> at least that's what I thought at the time. But no, the conversation finished and he ran like hell, like a little pussy. <laughs> that was funny. So, yeah, basically, you could start to beat uh, Mordrag uh, from behind, and that would take him quite a bit low, and you could... Uh, use this as, a, as an opportunity. This wolf seem... These wolves are very hard to deal with without any armor at least, or at the very least better uh, skills. 
in sword fighting, uh, but you can still do it with uh, the help of that uh, hunter from over there. By the way, he teaches you how to skin animals. The other option for learning this is at the beginning of the mine valley when you came down from the exchange place. And when they say stick to the beating path, they mean stick to the beating path because otherwise you will run into high level monsters well, everywhere. Here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. So basically, yeah, if I would run up that hill right now, I would um, meet some unsavory type monsters that would one shot me, yeah, mostly one shot. And I would be able to do pretty much jack jack nothing against them. You will are smart to avoid those two guys uh, rogues standing here in the intersection. They'll force you to work as a laborer in the rice fields, and if you do not show up, they will just. Do you beat intend you. to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mercenaries do? We, we are the mercenaries of the water mages. Our target is to break free from here. We're working hard for it and don't plan to take things easy like the guys from the old camp who are just having an easy time resting on the backs of the diggers. And we all follow Lee. He's a great man. He's the one who holds this damn camp together. What about the rest of the people? All crooks, they don't give a damn about the camp. I'd rather just have the peasants guarding the front gate. And by crooks he means... What do the rogues. mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound sky high to free us from the barrier. Sounds dangerous. They said we shouldn't worry. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. Watch your back. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Did you build the dam? 
Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. And he is correct. Yet, uh, I would not uh, suggest that you go there anytime soon. That uh, lurker has quite a bit of armor. And you essentially do not even damage him. And he, he I believe, he kills you in three hits. Or two. One of those two. Now I'm going to see Larry, the leader of the rogues. Now where are you going? Mm, some nice graphic book Where can I go? To Laris. Still present to the date. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here. But you need a good reason to disturb him. I want to join your gang. Many people want to join us. You'll have to make a better offer if you want to pass through this gate. Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay, you can see him. That's one way how to get to him. The other way is to bring the list from the old mine to him and he will be also happy to see you with that list in your hands. It will also give you quite a bit of experience. I want to join your gang. Oh yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Is that enough for me to join you? Mordrag has spoken up for you, but you're not ready yet. Do your tasks. What else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how much you actually need to do to be able to join the rogues. But selling the Wii does have a nice impact on your experience. Now I will be heading to the new camp's mine. It's quite a bit out of way and actually I wouldn't be surprised if you would learn that the mine is there only in chapter what 4 or something? I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course, it'll cost you though. I want 30 ore. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now you better not even start getting into that habit. It only get in the way. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging it. You'll have to learn to harmonize your weapon swing with your own movements. 
That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance of making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. So as you might notice, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to learn sword skills here than in the old camp. In the old camp, I believe, the same lesson cost 100 ore. I believe it is the best um, decision to invest the first um, learning points you get into strength if you go for a strength based character and then invest the next 10 points into one-handed uh, sword fighting skill but that's it for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more!